ENIAC Behind the Scenes A Commentary on the Remastered 1946 Film This short commentary explains some of what was done to digitally improve the original 1946 ENIAC film, which contained extensive film glitches, frame damage, and lighting problems. You may wish to view the remastered ENIAC film either before or after this commentary. Either way, you may enjoy a few of the behind-the-scenes bits. Because the original film was silent, there was no explanatory narration included, no film credits, and apparently no subsequent editing of the film. Bad lighting, overexposures, and bad film splicing all contributed to the problems seen in the unedited version. In this film, we present some of those damaged segments. Opening Scenes the film opens with a shot of the ENIAC faceplate, main panel, and dials. This is followed by sequences showing several women setting the switches on ENIAC programming panels, according to specific instructions that were to be executed to solve mathematical problems. One of the two military men in the back of the room mysteriously vanishes the moment he realizes that he is being filmed. It appears that the camera operator had difficulty with getting proper lighting and many problems during the development of the film. Flashes of light from overexposure and possibly from flash photography going on at the same time as the film was being shot. As with the ENIAC, women often played a critical role in the early computing, code breaking, programming and operational use of many of the early large-scale machines. Hundreds of women worked on code-breaking machines in the UK, Europe, and in the US. In 1997, six of the women most involved in the programming and operating of the ENIAC were inducted into the Women in Technology International Hall of Fame. ENIAC was a large-scale project undertaken during World War II. It was funded by the U.S. Army Ballistic Research Laboratory. In today's money, it cost about $7 million. Specially modified IBM punch card machines were used for input and output. Built at the University of Pennsylvania's Moore School of Electrical Engineering in 1943 and completed in 1946, it was a top-secret project until announced to the public in February 1946 which is the date of the original film. ENIAC's principal designers and engineers were J. Presper Eckert and Dr. John W. Mockley. Eight feet tall, it filled a room 30 feet by 50 feet and weighed 30 tons and used 18,000 vacuum tubes. The ping pong lights were not a critical ENIAC design, but were added for the benefit of public display to represent how the machine solved problems This segment was repeated, probably due to bad editing and splicing. One can see the printer in operation and the IBM card reader. As an element of ENIAC trivia, on either side of the doorway one can see wall-mounted fire extinguishers of the vintage hand pump style produced by the Pyrene Company and probably contained carbon tetrachloride, a substance later banned. J. Presper Eckert and Dr. John W. Mockley. Excellent footage of the inventors. However, the film camera operator seems to have trouble keeping Mr. Eckert in the frame.
Here we see Herman Goldstein, scientist, mathematician, and army liaison to the ENIAC project. Goldstein was also instrumental in keeping project funding alive and interfacing between military brass, university, and project staff. Here we see a technician replacing ENIAC shortboards, each holding about 10 tubes. This photo, not part of the film, shows a longer board, which held 28 tubes. To reduce vacuum tube burnout, engineer J.P. Eckert instructed that tubes were to be tested before being installed. Tube voltages were also monitored and controlled. Here the staff compared the use of early adding machines, very slow and cumbersome, compared to the speed of ENIAC. The man on the right uses an abacus. The woman on the left is using what appears to be a Fryden electronic calculator, model ST, for supermatic tabulating. Built at the University of Pennsylvania's Moore School of Electrical Engineering in 1943 and completed in 1946, it was a top-secret project until announced to the public in February 1946, which is the date of the original film. We hope you enjoyed this brief commentary and behind-the-scenes look at the original ENIAC film.